So for this video, I want to sort of break down my idea of the components again. I was a bit unclear the first video. Looking at the paint structure, so what I did here was I wanted to have an app, which is the app I created in the first video, and I have a header and a container component, and within, um, within the header component, that's where the tools are, for example, the tools, um, the size of the brush, uh, which is over here. And then we also have the colors grid. I was looking into that a little bit, so I will try to get that working as well, uh, hopefully in this video. And then within each color grid, we'll have its own color card. And as for the container, that's where we are painting and erasing and doing what paint does, you know? So let's jump into this. Let's set up our components. Okay, we'll change this headers. Let's let's rename some some applications so that our move this to header. And then in the app, we'll rename this to header as well. Save this. Save this. Um, and then I think our Let's move this onto here, actually. I think I can close this image now. Um, and then we also have the container. And we need to create a container. Yes. So here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should have seven. Let's delete this image. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we need the Last thing is color card. Oops. This can go in here. Okay, cool. So we got the app, which has the header and the container, which is correct. We go to the header. We have the we'll rename items to tools. We have that, and then we have the size of the brush. So I guess we need to create one more. This says brush, JS, brush, save that. Let's go to the header, brush. Okay, I think we got the basic structure of our app.js worked out. So let's, let's add a select. brush and then we can have options thinnest then I'll do thin normal and thick we'll have three options for this let's see if this shows up on let's see at the JS this container is not defined Okay, I guess I gotta import, oopsies. Elements in unavailable or invalid. Check the render method of app. Ooh, container has nothing. Okay, and color card doesn't really have anything either. To So this is for the container. I just wanna create a white background. So let's add a, a, a box with a div. Yeah, and then we got the the container will be, let's have a H1 or H2, I guess. Or, yeah, H2, this is a container. And that should pop up below. Let's make our own color array. Const color list equals an array. Red, blue, Okay, I think I got most of, I got the rainbow in there and a couple other colors. I might have to put these in. Okay, so now const color grid equals color list dot map. So how should, how should we map this as? The color gets sent to 
Do we need to create a div for each? Ugh, I don't know if that's a good idea, but I guess we'll try it out for now. Um, return key equals color because every map needs a key or every mapped uh, uh, element needs a key. Or I guess we got background color. Oh, let's try this. Background color. And then we'll do the color as the background color, right? Does that make sense? I think so. Let's try that out. So that's cool because we can make it very dynamic. We want the width to be 10 PX. And we'll say the height, 10 PX. So what this should do is we're creating a, a box, a div box that has the background color set to the color of each element in the array and the width and height is 10 px so i don't know if this is going to work let's try this out let's see if this even does anything because what i want to do is create a, a chart or a grid but it seems like i'm having difficulty with getting this to work let's see if it's um even registering the component um we got the color container we got the oh okay it seems like it's it's doing something let's inside each div let's have the let's see if the color is actually being displayed so as a p cool let's see red blue green let's see if this dial feature being dynamic works okay say this refresh i wonder how huh. maybe if i need this and if i interpolate it maybe let's try that Oh, there we go, baby. Oh, yeah. So the weird thing is, let's see if we need the P here. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, we got something going. Let's get the 20, 20, save that. So we got this color grid. Let's go, let's go. That's so sick. Actually, let's add some margin to this, sorry. Cause I'll give it space in between. So it'll, it'll make them be a bit spread out. So we'll give it three PX each side. Oh man, I don't know how to put them all in one line. Float, position relative. And then we can have a div on click and this can display the console log color close this off so we added an on click to each of these so that if we click this it should display the color cool let's see so we got this to work which is pretty sick so just to recap what we did today in the second video was i recapped on the structure of our app um i wanted to display a grid of colors Ideally, I can have this color list separate and have it more dynamic. And then I added a different option list for the type of brush you want based on the thickness. And then, yeah, so hopefully we're getting close to the paint uh, application to work. We made pretty good progress today. So that's basically what I'm gonna stop on. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys can get this figured out a lot quicker than I am because it's fun for me, but I'm definitely going to need a lot more time to get this all cleaned up and fixed. So thanks for tuning in.